All right, y'all. Just turn the camera on and my battery is low. <laughs> Girl, you better not chuck on that. My cat is behind me. She just grabbed something out of a pan and is trying to eat it. Um, today, Erin and I are about to head to the grocery store. I need some things. And I'm going to get some stuff to go with the lasagna. I have salad, uh, but I want to get maybe crescent rolls to do as like the bread. And then also, I'm going to get some new salad dressing that he likes. I like ranch, but he likes Thousand Island. I'm going to get some new of that. Anyways, we're going to get some things from the store. Because we still have um, $80 in this week's budget to just just for whatever like gas all those things um so i'm gonna get a few things there show y'all that what else we're we doing in this video cleaning like just regular getting the house cleaned up we may declutter uh some areas in this video and i told y'all i was gonna make the strawberry cake in the last video already made it <laughs> we made it last night and then the other thing I told you on the last video is that, is that I was going to organize uh, on those pull-out drawers that are underneath our bed. Well, I already did it. So, in this video, I will show y'all what I ended up doing. I'm in my pajamas. I actually put these on this morning clean. And I was like, I'm wearing pajamas today because I'm a girl this week, if you know what I mean. So, I want to be as comfortable as can be. Also, I've just come to terms with... We are girls at home. Most of us stay at home. And why do we need to get dressed? <laughs> you know what I mean? If you want to be in your pajamas all day long, be in your pajamas. Who cares? I'm literally going to the store like this. I'm going to put a jacket on because I don't want to look like my whole body is checkered printed, even though it is, or plaid, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, anyways, I'm rambling. I will see y'all back here with whatever we picked up today. Okay. <laughs> Correction off a lottery ticket over there. Lemon up. Dr. Perky. Another Dr. Perky. Skippy's peanut butter. Thousand Island. Um, get down, Margaret. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, but potato salad. Bread. This is for salad. These little ham diced ham. So it's a pepperoni. Thought that'd be fun. Oh, wait, that's what I showed y'all yesterday. Let <laughs> me not get mixed up. Garlic bread. These little tasty cakes. They were on sale for $2.99, I think. So, that is everything we grabbed. And, of course, feminine products. But I figured y'all don't want to see that. <laughs> All right, got meat in the pan. I need to find... What are these things? I'm about to get the clothes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> get the clothes out of the washing machine. If there's stuff in the dryer, it's going on the couch. Y'all know I have been really good about not doing that, but I got a bunch of stuff to do right now, so I can just let it be over there. Maybe we'll just still get it done in this video, but priorities. <laughs> um, and then I got to get my sheets in the washing machine and put whatever is in the washing machine in the dryer. Because I washed a load of clothes today, I'm wanting to get, make sure I stay caught up. Because whenever we do the home projects, I get behind on everything. And now that we're, we are called up, like I do have a little bit of dishes that are dirty. But that's, that won't take long at all. We'll get everything called up in this video. And the only project I have that's big that will be coming up, it won't happen until the end of February. And it's the bathroom. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> it's the bathroom. That's crumbs. In our hallway, that's got that carpet in it. I'm going to take it out. Put hard, like, peel and stick down. And then we're going to replace the toilet because Aaron thinks that there's, like, a small leak. And he wants to get a new one because that one is pretty old already. So, that's the plan. Hopefully my girls don't try to get up here while this is cooking. Let's go take care of the laundry. 
Okay, I was gonna throw on some music, but I feel like this isn't gonna take me much time. So we're just gonna do it this way. Okay. There is stuff in the dryer. So since we decluttered all of that stuff, I see one of my cats. I have this bin, which I told y'all weeks ago, normally I do not do this. I do not put clean clothes or dirty clothes in a basket anymore because it just sets me up to pile things up and then before you know it there's just too much so I gotta stick to what I what I tell y'all I'm so paranoid okay I don't see them over there but for tonight like we said we're just gonna do this it's gonna be okay as long as it doesn't become a habit because I've already created a habit of doing it to where it makes more sense or it doesn't pile up it's okay sometimes you've got to go outside of your routine we can't always have a perfect day where everything just goes exactly how we want to so it's good to have like what are you going to do when the day isn't going perfectly what can you still get done it's okay to have those days where you're easier on yourself hi lucy where's your baby where's your baby let's see if she's trying to get at the meat let's go back to the meat erin gets on me for doing this <laughs> multitasking but we can do it. Also, after after I get this ground beef done, I get the lasagna in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my salad. And I'm gonna do it like they do at the salad bar where you've got, that. I got the pepperonis, I got ham. I'm gonna shred up that cheese. Oh my goodness, that's gonna take a chunk of time. Now I'm regretting that choice, but it's okay. We don't have to get ahead of ourselves. You just do it. Just keep going. It will get done. Okay. Gosh, by the time I come back to this, it should be done. And I think I'm going to add all the sauce and all of that, except for the ricotta, to the meat like I'm using that pasta where you add the liquid for every layer you do I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because it's almost done anyways it's gonna cook even longer in the pot you know in the in the oven my goodness all right these bins are empty for some reason there's a sweatshirt in here um, Okay, cold stuff has to go in the dryer. Cold stuff has to go in the dryer. Wet stuff has to go in the dryer. It is cold. Okay, sensories. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Anyway, I washed my sheets today, or I'm washing my sheets today, because Chloe had an accident this morning. I say this morning, it was not morning. It was when we woke up, which was two o'clock. Because we did not go to bed until probably four or five in the morning. Get your butt out of that bread. I tell y'all, cats are big mice. Big mice. Especially you being gray, you're a big mouse. If the other one is in my hamburger meat, Y'all are paying rent. We don't pay rent. We, it's only but fluffy. <laughs> I'll make them pay rent. We're living here. Anyway, she she had an accident on our sheets. And I'm going to show y'all what I used to get it out of the mattress. Because it worked wonders. I don't even know where we got it. Okay, she ain't up there, which is great. All right, so I gotta get my laundry dirty. This is almost done. Well, 
idiot. I'm hurting it off. Just have to take the grease out of here. Okay. I just ran out of my laundry detergent, so I bought another one. I got a different scent. This time, last scent was the original from Game. This one is Blissful Breeze. Um, I'm feeling springy. We had a day where it was like 65 degrees. Oh my gosh. So good. Girls, please do not. Are y'all yellers? Because I am. You have to. That's the only thing that gets their attention. Come on now. Please do what you're coward to do. Anyways, you would think they were humans. They're not. And why did I bring that back in the kitchen? Like it goes up there. It has a specific spot. Okay. And I don't normally use OxyClean because, but because she had an accident, I am using a little bit. Like literally, maybe that was a teaspoon. Cause this stuff is like twelve dollars. I saw because I have this. I was gonna get. The little yellow poofy things that go on the end of them and I put that back real fast it was have y'all seen that Instagram reel or TikTok audio where they're like um pick it up see the price put it back <laughs> I picked up those things and I'm like that wanted $11.99 for four dust dusty things you know that go on this not even the whole product heck no you can keep your money that's literally what I said under my breath get your butt off of the table I'm tired of this I'm tired you need to listen to me girlfriend if if you put a hole in this bread I'm gonna be upset this is not yours this is mama's Okay, that's on. Let me show you that spray. This stuff right here, tough stuff. That is what I used. It is for multi multi-purpose foam cleaner, deep cleaning for fabric, carpet, and vinyl. So I put this on the. At first, I like just took a microfiber cloth, kind of pat it down to soak up whatever was there, and then I used this. And it says for 40 seconds. They're in their play period is what I call it. Sun goes down, the cats go wild. It's wild and out over here. Um, and Chloe runs. So when she runs, they think, oh, it's time to jump on her. The little one, the big one, don't bother Chloe at all. Anyway, good stuff. I don't even know where you get this stuff, but it works really well. I put it on for 40 seconds, which is what it says. And then I went back after it was it kind of like the foam disappears and stuff i went back with a towel and just kind of wiped everything down and now it's white it looks like nothing ever happened which is amazing and i had the curtains up and all day the sun came in and of course like everything's been off the bed so it's kind of airing out eventually i'm going to get a new bed because that one just looks kind of dingy at this point our bodies are so strange why the mattresses get like those like orangey looking spots on them ew <laughs> ew i don't have a mattress topper thing i didn't know where we were supposed to get that this sliding is a little crazy <laughs> i feel like my nose is always just seeing up my nose um i never noticed that i had like an upturned nose anyways i am going to go to voiceover i'm going to knock out this lasagna and get it in the oven i'm actually using these because I don't have one that's not disposable left because my cake is in it right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn on Judge Judy so I can get some of my sanity back and we're going to get this done. Okay. Give the video a thumbs up if, if any of this relates to you. <laughs> no. Did he stay occasionally in the Girls. Okay. Please no. behave. Did he pay any rent? No. There was never an agreement for him to pay rent.
All right, so first this is la lasagna. My goodness, couldn't even say lasagna. I am using the garden vegetable pasta sauce because it's got all the veggies in it, and I love that. So I, I've i never made a lasagna. I don't know how many layers I was going to have, and I need to add one-fourth liquid per layer of pasta. So I just pulled them all out. I think I ended up doing three layers. So I did three-fourths cup of milk. I followed the back of this box, the, their direction for lasagna. So my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. I have ground up one pound of hamburger meat. You could use whatever kind of meat you want to, to be honest. Um, and then I did one 24 ounce jar of pasta sauce. If you're like me and Erin, you may like a lot of sauce with your pasta <laughs> if that makes sense like I know some people eat a lot of pasta but then have hardly any sauce on there and they like it that way but we really like almost more sauce than, than pasta ratio so I'm adding the three-fourths cup of milk to the sauce and the hamburger meat and that's going to help the pasta cook so you could use milk or water. Those were the two options it gave. Then for the ricotta mixture, I'm doing two eggs beaten up. And then I'm going to add a 15 ounce tub of ricotta cheese. And then it said to add, I think, either one fourth or one third cup of it was one fourth one fourth cup of parmesan cheese and then uh four ounces of mozzarella cheese shredded so i'm gonna sit here and shred cheese for a bit oh and then it said to add some parsley i don't know like the specific amount of parsley but i don't have parsley i just have the complete seasoning which has oregano garlic salt pepper that kind of mixture onion powder so i put that in there and then i'm showing y'all that i have these bars of cheese instead of just already shredded because i feel like it tastes better that way um so i'm just gonna shred up i i'm eyeballing it about half a cup which is four ounces of shredded cheese and then i'm gonna mix that up and then we're gonna do a layer of sauce with the meat. Oh, also, I did spray my pan with oil. And then you're going to cover it with aluminum foil. And I've never done this before, but it said to spray the, the aluminum foil with your oil too. That way the cheese doesn't get stuck to the top. I think that's a great idea. I actually may start doing that with whenever we make cakes because every time I make a cake and I put the icing on it as soon as we go to open the loom open up the lid all the icing is on the lid so even though I feel like that'd be kind of weird to spray vegetable oil over your cake but it could work anyways I might try it actually the strawberry cake we made the other day we've just been putting icing on the individual pieces which is another thing you could do so anyways we're not talking about cakes right now Kimmy <laughs> okay so you can see um I don't have actual spray so when I don't have spray I will use just oil and then I'll use a paper towel and wipe it around there and it works just fine so it said one cup of the sauce and meat mixture which this did not look like enough but so I added a little bit more and I even had my little measuring cup over there to make sure I had a cup. But then y'all, I stopped measuring after a while. So we're adding one layer of pasta right here. And then we're going to do one layer of the ricotta. And then we're just going to continue until we get to the top layer, which just has the ricotta and the sauce. And then you will do another four ounces of shredded cheese on the top. And then this bakes in the oven covered for 30 minutes. And then you take the cover off the last 10 minutes. 
So 40 minutes total at 400 degrees. If your oven gets like super hot like ours does, I actually did around 380 degrees. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back All right, here's our salads. I wanted to show y'all before I put the salad dressing on. Um, I put potato salad on mine, the ham, pepperoni, olives, tomato, and then the lettuce. And I grated that cheese. Then I dumped the grater in with all the dirty dishes and I do not want to clean it right now. So I put Parmesan cheese on there. And then Aaron's has everything that mine does except for olives and yeah, that's it. Oh, potato salad. He doesn't like potato salad. So, these are our salads. We're going to go ahead and eat those since it's going to take about 40 minutes for our lasagna to get done.
was a 10 out of 10 I would highly recommend if y'all make it let me know let me know how it turns out um, now I'm just putting the sheets back on the bed and normally I make the bed um, with all the pillows up there against the headboard but since it was so late at night I figured I would just make it how we actually go to bed so Aaron uses this long body pillow right here um, to help his knees and I've actually been sleeping on my side too lately, so I've been using the little blue pillow for my knees. Um, but I put that like that, and then I just go in and put the sheet in the comforter how I would normally do it. And then the blanket, normally I will have it kind of just draped over the middle, but not stretched out. But when we go to bed, I like to have it all spread out fully. So anyways, after this, I'm going to show y'all what those drawers look like underneath and then also what I have in my nightstand. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down into water when they hit the ground all right so i've got my robe on the floor right there um i've got my dumbbells right there and then in this one i have like little head towels after you get out of the shower my led face mask in that one also in i don't have anything in the bottom one but in this one this is like a little balm you put on your feet to prevent cracking. So I have that. I've got this book that I'm reading right now. It's so good. I actually have it linked down below like permanently because I like it so much. Um, I should just link this one too because I really like her book. This is Victoria Maskell. She also has a podcast that I've been listening to since... I think 2019 and this one's called the science of getting rich the fast track version for the 21st century by Victoria Maskell she's from the UK so I love her accent um, and her podcast is really good also I like that she is more science based when it comes to goals and making money and stuff like that um, just pretty much any area in life. Oh, and she is a licensed psych psychotherapist or psychologist. One of those. So, she knows what she's talking about. Okay, and then, this is the drawer I did last night. They actually do, like, 
close and lock but I just don't have it locked um on that side I have extra linens and then on this side I just have a bunch of pants that way I don't have to walk all the way to the dresser I have in Aaron's office to get pants because um, the only two drawers I use in this big thing are the top two. By the way, we are going to paint this the same as we painted that one over there. I just haven't got it, got to it yet. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing I see. This is my hairy, hairy rose bush. <laughs> so today, we are going to clean her up a little bit. Girls are outside. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. I'm going to speed it up some, okay? thing was poking me like crazy <laughs> and, and my sweater just kept getting stuck everywhere I don't know how people do this um, but I think I ended up taking two feet off of the top this thing is taller than I am um, pretty much anything that looked like a tiny twig I just went ahead and picked off and then I left all the big thick branches um, I love this rose bush. It is a, what are they called? It's the kind where the roses are, the stems are short and you just get them all. I mean, it's a big bushy one. Um, our neighbor has the kind of rose that you would buy at the store. So hers just runs up this little post and it's just one long Almost looks like a long stick going up the post. And then at the top is a rose. And she can cut it, you know, however long she wants the stem to be. Which is pretty cool. But this one, you, you get a whole bush full of roses. And, and they're pink. Every two, I would say like every two weeks or so, you go out there and you pluck off all the dead heads. And then... In that two weeks, you'll just have so many new roses again. Knockout roses, that's what they are. Um, I picked it up at Lowe's. This bush is about, oh my goodness, 
four or five years old. One of those, four or five. So it's it's had a lot of time to grow. Um, if y'all have seen that little yellow bush that's across from it, that's about the size it was when I bought it. The yellow bush is on its third year now. So it's still not mature yet. It can get up to five feet wide, which I'm so excited for. It's called a lister, listerum, something like that. Um, some people have asked if it was a, I think there's something called a yellow fern. I could be wrong, but it's not that. It's a lig, ligsturum. I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> but it's a really beautiful yellow bush. Um, it looks pretty yellow right now. It does get uh, like a light green color whenever it get, becomes spring again, and then it will get this bright yellow. Right now, it's kind of like a mustard yellow. You told me there'd be better days And nothing that can pull us under You want to take the pain away but know that I was born as a fighter We fail, we fail, but we're better than that We're better than that I know, you know, so why are we holding on, holding on? Yeah, seems like we're back on Alright y'all, <laughs> that was like when you put eyeliner on and you get it wrong so then you have to put more on the other eye and then you just keep doing more and more. Or like when you're cutting your hair and you just keep taking it off. My goodness. <sighs> that hurt too. <laughs> that hurt. How did I miss some? I missed quite a few. Anyways, oh well. <sighs> She's shorter. She got a trim, so we're good. Met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love. Like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight. Knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up. Drifting away from each other. Didn't want to let you go.
sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. To be the one you can trust. I feel so useless because I let you down. I hope there's some way I can make it alright. Cause I know that you deserve much more than this. If you give me one more chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I It feels so good to be able to mop our floors. If you're new here, our most of the rooms in the house used to be carpet. This room, we just recently ripped the carpet out of. And the office area that I was just in, we just took the carpet out of there too. And the carpet was really disgusting. So it's been so nice to have clean floors. And I really enjoy just walking around the house vacuuming and then going with, in with this mop. It was so much easier to clean and I felt like I was actually getting the job done versus whenever I was vacuuming the nasty floors, they were still nasty. But um, I was using this Nature's Promise Apple Crisp uh, multi-surface spray uh, when I was mopping. That way I didn't have to keep putting a new mop pad on and just kind of use the spray as I went.
All right, y'all, if you made it this far, leave me a heart emoji in the comment section. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in the next video. We're going to be going to TJ Maxx and seeing what they got in store for our home decor. Okay, see you then. Bye.